somebody say that the devil that we got him now we got him in the grave we got him wrapped up in the grave we got the tomb sealed and he can't get out of it
you have prostate cancer. Now, for a man, I don't know, maybe not y'all, but no other man but me, but I buried my father, who I loved very much, and his illness was prostate cancer. And the prostate cancer, I had gone through that. I know how he had suffered. I know how he had dealt. Tell me what I'm From the age of 65, he began to deal with that kind of a situation. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you. And so I start, in my mind, start thinking about what might be, what my future looks like. Tell the Lord, thank you. I have a lovely wife, and I got three lovely granddaughters that I love very much. And I don't bite my tongue. I tell everybody I love them very much. In his mind, the Bible says that a, a grandfather ought to take care of his grandchildren. And so I began to get my things together, Sister Jackson. So, therefore, if I had to move out of the scene with, that, with Sister, I didn't talk to her very much about it, you know, because there's certain things you just don't want to put on your face. Tell me what that is. See, I knew that before because my first wife died of breast cancer. And I know how that situation is, amen? And so I got my stuff together. I got my insurance together. And I tied them up so if I have to tell her, I can tell her what they are and how she needs to do what she needs to do. Take care of these and prioritize things. Get take care of them. Oh, see, I'm not gone. I'm gone and that money's not coming in no more. I made up in my mind that I was going to get all that together. Oh. But while I was getting it together, I stopped long enough to talk to Jesus. Y'all didn't hear what I said. I stopped long enough to talk to Jesus. Bishop called me, I go where Bishop wanted me to go. Not feeling all that well sometimes, but I went because my mind was messed up. Tell the Lord, thank you. I couldn't think right. I spent a lot of time waiting out for my best friend had died of prostate cancer. Just, uh, just in January. When I turned 60, he died in January. And I did his eulogy, and here it is, I got prostate cancer. Tell the Lord, thank you. All I tell you how good God is. Thank the Lord. I stood by long enough, sister, to get on my knees and talk to the Lord about it. Yeah, yeah, I don't care what the doctor say. Let me tell you, I, the doctor tell you, you got six months to live, but I saw a commercial on TV saying, there is no stamp in the bottom of your feet that says, how long your life is going to be. I heard Jesus say to, to the devil, say, touch not his life. Because his life is in my hand. Tell the Lord, thank you. Yeah, it might be happy, but I got to wait. I just want to leave that with you. He's all you need. I got to wait. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hallelujah. I got to give that test again. And they say, Brother Man, it's gone. <laughs>